First though, farming life has always been tough. These days though, unpredictable weather, volatile markets and high levels of debt all conspire to give farmers more than the usual share of headaches. That though brings a renewed focus on the health and well-being of people in rural and regional Australia. People who in the past may well have ignored signs of trouble. Karen Percy has the story. The cows are coming in for the afternoon milking at the O'Keefe's Dairy in the western Victorian town of Winslow. Get out, get out, come on. It'll take three hours for all 650 Frisian cows to empty their udders. They're looking good. Yeah, they are. It's been tough uh, financially. It's, you know, it's hard to pay the bills. Um, and going forward, I'm not quite sure how we're going to manage it. The O'Keeffe's have not been affected by the dairy crisis yet, yep. but they know plenty of others who have. More going for them. People tend not to show their um, situation too much, but as you say, also we know quite a few people who are under pressure financially, and we're going to imagine. Uh, we, knew, we knew how tough it was before the milk price drop. We're going to imagine what they're going through. It's just awful, really. I think they would have a huge impact on themselves, you know, emotionally, physically, um, with family and, and kids around them. Um, what do you do? I mean, talking, yeah, we have a few uh, colleagues, you know, we speak to and um, they just want that connection and, you know, wanting somebody to listen to them. Living on the land has always had its challenges, but these days the stresses and strains are bubbling to the surface and it's becoming harder and harder for the community to ignore. You hear a lot of stories and we speak to a lot of other agents around the country and uh, it's just absolutely devastating really. Um, they're all taking a massive hit. Um, you know, farmers having to try and get out of their farms but they can't just because no one wants to buy it. Hamilton pharmacy assistant Zoe Van Kalken sees it every day. I think working in a chemist, it definitely shows that men don't reach out for help. And I think when it comes to mental health, they sort of step back from going away to, for seeking help. All right, just stay nice and still. And... At the National Centre for Pharma Health in Hamilton, the dairy crisis is just the latest misfortune to beset rural Australia. We've been doing health and lifestyle assessments at a lot of um, agricultural events lately and we'll be seeing 100 farmers over a couple of days and there's a genuine interest in their health, well-being and safety and a genuine legitimacy about saying they're coming to have a farmer health check and I don't think we would have seen that 10, 15 years ago when we first started out. H -N -T -P -U -Z -A. Farmers are put through a series of tests that measure their health, but also contribute to research. Excellent. They are interested in knowing what um, agrochemicals are actually doing to their system and what effect it is actually doing on their health. Um, so it wasn't hard to encourage them to come along and be part of the research project. Um, but what we have noticed is as the research project has developed, they've become really keen. We tend to get very focused on what we're doing and, um, yeah, the jobs that we've got in front of us and we don't always perhaps put enough thought into our own personal safety. It's probably a bit of the nature of the job that often you're under time constraints and hurrying to get things done and your priorities probably aren't always where they, where they should be. Press on this every time that you hear a noise. OK. OK. The centre seeks to reduce the physical risks farmers face. Things like weaning time, when you've got all the cows and calves all in yeah. the yards all day, all day. that's yeah. very loud yeah. and it's sort of echoey off the sheds. Yeah. Um, sometimes... And it's bottles. for a long period It's for a long, long period of time, yeah. it's for the yeah. whole day. A good squeeze. There's also an increased awareness now of the importance of mental health. You know, at the click of a finger we may lose a major market which forces all the prices down and then that can have a huge impact on, on the whole family and going forward for, for years. So there are a lot of things that can really um, break down that um, your wellbeing very quickly that are completely out of your control. 11, 11, Number 11. 11. Single pen, one yard to use. 
Farmers are at the mercy of so many variables, the market, the weather, unrelenting work schedules. In other workplaces, people can invariably leave the workplace and go home. But in family farming situations, which dairy are very much partnerships rather than large corporates, um, it's very acutely f felt. And we certainly know through the millennium drought as well that the experience of children during that time uh, was probably under under-recognised. I think they don't want to admit that they are going through this, so they're trying to like hide it sort of, I think they are. Everyone knows what they're going through, they just don't want to admit that they have gone through this. In the town of Cobden, it's hard to miss the Fonterra plant and the effect the company's decision to reduce milk payments is having on everyone. My dad is actually got a second job because we have to pay for everything. Mum and Dad are always talking every night about what they're going to do and like figures and all that, yeah. see if they can get through it all and yeah. just keep it going. The future for many is uncertain. Our farm's been on the market for nine years trying to sell it. My yeah. Mum and Dad have just turned to that point where they've got no hope mm. in selling it. The farmers' kids won't take on the farm now, I reckon. Like, with it looking so bad, mm. it will make them get out of it. The full impact of the crisis has yet to be felt, but for these communities which have been hit hard before, there might be some comfort in the knowledge that help is there. I think it's probably getting broken down a hell of a lot to what it was. People seem to be a lot more comfortable talking about those issues and actually coming out publicly if they are suffering from depression or whatever it might be. And I think people in the community are a lot more understanding or are very understanding of that 